going through the 2014 paper two for pure mathematics, unit one. And it says, let P, Q, and R be three propositions. Construct a true table for P implies Q and R implies Q. So you're gonna construct a true table for P implies Q and R implies Q. So to construct this true table for P implies Q and R implies Q, first thing we have to note is that there are three variables. All right, there's three variables. Since there are three variables, then the number of possible outcomes is two cube. Two cube is eight. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up your table. All right, so let's set up our table. And the variables again we know are P, Q, and R. All right. Nice. So now let's put in the outcomes. We know that we're gonna have for P it it's gonna be four true and four false. All right, so you can write the four true first, then you write the four false. You don't have to use true and false, you can use ones and zeros. A lot of people like to use ones and zeros. One representing true and zero representing false, so that's for P. Then for Q, it's gonna be true, true, then false, false, then true, true, then false, false. That gives the eight possibility for Q. Nice and easy. Then for R now, it's going to be true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. True, false. True, false. True, false. And true, false. Nice and easy. Soft. Now, based on the question, remember, this is what we need to draw the true table for. So before we can do that, we need to construct the true table for what is P implies Q, and then we're gonna need R implies Q. All right, and after we get these now, then and only then, we can be able to look at what's the truth result for the two of them together, P implies Q and R implies Q. So we look at that afterwards. So, now P, let's go here now. Now P implies Q, let's put the results them in red. P implies Q, the only time it's gonna be false is when P is true, but Q is false. So you're gonna look for when P is Q, but, but Q is false. That's somewhere right here. P is true and Q is false. Here, so as well, P is true and Q is false. So these are the only two times when P implies Q is going to be false. Everywhere else it is true, all right? Everywhere else it is true. So you can just put true, 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 and true. Nice. Then for R implies Q, the only time it's going to be false is when R is true and R is true and Q is false. So R is true and Q is false. R is true and Q is false. So right here again, R is true and Q is false. R is true and Q is false. So these are the only two places, all right? So let's write that it's gonna be false here and it's gonna be false here. Everywhere else is true. 
this is true, 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 and true. Finally, what we're asked to draw true table for is actually P implies Q and R implies Q. This is what we want. So we need and of these two, we need and of these two. So what that is going to be is true and true is true. True and true is true. False and false is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. True and true is true. False and true is false. True and true is true. All right? And so this is the answer. Nice and easy, and you get your five marks. No issues. Soft. Let's go to the next part of the question. <laughs> 